I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Painter. So this is what my studio looks like right now. This is the big work in progress section, working on that Icarus painting. But over here, I've got a lot of books and pages and postcards that I have laying around that I've collected because I've been um, like on the side of working on my Icarus painting. I've been doing a lot of thinking and considering about my work as a whole. So this wall, I have a lot of my available paintings hanging up and some, not all my, my drawings <laughs> are here. So I've been looking on my computer so I can kind of like see my whole portfolio that I have. But I've been kind of thinking about changing up the aesthetic of the paintings. So not the stories because in all of my work I like to have this thread of a mysterious story. So I don't want to change that but I've been thinking more about changing the overall look like having a lot of lighter values and still in that classical style. I like that a lot but there's just something I want to change about my work. And so you can see in my paintings, I have a lot of, it's like curious stories, but they're being told in the shadows. And I think I want to kind of flip it and have those same type of stories, but be told in the light and see if I can get that ambiguous, mysterious feeling in a really light filled painting. And so here I've just been sitting either in that chair or on the floor looking at all and pulling out my books, which I like to do a lot too when I'm like finishing up a painting and comparing it to things. Um, and the Icarus painting that I'm working on is in the finishing stages. But this has been mostly thinking about like the new direction that I want to take my work aesthetically. Um, and it's been uh, fun trying to search through stuff. So I've, I've got my books and all this other stuff that I've collected, but I've also got a Pinterest board opened up to that. I've been collecting a lot of images online that way, but kind of the cool thing is that I can't seem to find exactly what I have in the back of my head that I want to do. I feel like I haven't found someone totally capturing that yet, which is also kind of scary, but exciting because that makes, makes me then want to figure it out and try and create it. So on the side of me finishing this big painting, I'm gonna be working on this new series, if you can call it a series. Probably just like a lot of studies while I'm figuring this out for new paintings, but I'm gonna probably like print off images on my Pinterest board and like all the stuff that's on the floor, like kind of like paste that together on a board so I can get a better idea and then be adding studies that I'm making to get that figured out too. So that's the new exciting big open-ended project that I'm working on besides the Icarus painting. And here's the Icarus setup which is a lot of fun. In this stage you can see like I'm adding a lot of color in the water and stuff like that. So wrapping up this painting. I'm jumping around the painting a lot now while I resolve it. I'm bringing different parts out by light, lightening up certain values, like working out the wing on the bottom of the painting and brightening that up. Though now that I see the bottom wing in context with the top wing, I want to change its feathers a bit so both wings match more. Also now I'm really starting to like the water. I'm getting this glow in the water and I'm really liking that it doesn't exactly look like water as well. Instead of it being a literal image of a person that is treading water, it's more like a fever dream and the water is symbolic of her psychology. I did a lot with the water, changing it up a lot before I found something that I really liked. Uh, before I put the reflection of the figure in it and then I went over that with a bunch of colors fading out until you have what you see now, which I, I like a lot. 
there is a bit of fun figuring out a large painting like this on the spot and kind of winging it but I wish I planned it out more <laughs> in advance and I'm gonna plan out my next big figure painting more so I can paint it more efficiently. This one has definitely been a huge learning curve with that <laughs> but it's in the fun part right now where I'm finishing it up so I can make tweaks all over the painting to make it better and better for the whole and I have a now I'm just so close to the end that it's fun seeing these changes that make a big impact on the whole painting. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video because it really does help me out. I put out new videos on every Sunday for my Diary of a Painter series, and I put out new videos every Wednesday for my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series.